My M29 girlfriend F26 of 3 years said that she can't promise to be loyal or not cheat in the future. What should I do? My girlfriend said to me, while we were drinking at a restaurant bar, that she loves me a lot but can't promise to me that she won't cheat or be loyal in the future. She said that I am the best boyfriend that she has ever been in a relationship with she has been in 4 or 5 in the past but can't promise that she won't cheat after marriage or before, and that is why she does not believe in marriages in general, and it kind of hurts me cause I feel like our relationship would meet a dead end sooner or later. How do I go about this? Did she say it because she was drunk and not take her words seriously? What should I do? You need to have a second conversation. Any defensiveness is not a good sign. Take that into consideration. Brace yourself though. You walk away if monogamy is required. She flat up told you it's not in her to be monogamous. End it now on your terms rather than after she cheats. If you are fine w an open relationship then go for it. Get the stepping and save yourself, she told you to your face she will cheat on you. My high school girlfriend said something similar, I was stupid and married her. Apparently she cheated more than she was faithful. Dump her, move on. Can you deal with a disloyal and cheating person? If yes, continue your road with her but don't be mad when she ducks someone you know, she told you it would happen and from this day, the decision was on you to leave or not. To be honest he is right to be mad. When you enter a relationship, you are supposed to know yourself a minimum. I have a friend, 21 years old, and when she enters a relationship she tells the guy right away that she done, t want anything serious. Yes she want a partner but she also want to go elsewhere. That's honesty. Then it's up to the guy to decide if he wants that or not. But telling someone you don't want to be loyal after 3 years, that's completely weird and insane. That means she always been like that but never admitted it to him nd that's wrong lamau. It sounds like she might not be ready for what you are offering a healthy and committed relationship and she's giving you the heads up, as if it will make her cheating on you less hurtful because she warned you in advance. It's really simple. If she is not able to commit to a monogamous relationship and this is something you are looking for then you need to end it. And it before she does it and it floors your self-esteem and confidence. Save yourself for someone who wants what you want. Alcohol doesn't cause people to make up blatantly false stuff unless they're incredibly drunk and their brain is struggling to put sentences together. Alcohol lowers inhibitions and helps people to say true things they want to say but cannot normally find the courage to communicate. Liquid courage. If she strays in the future, she may explain that she directly told you this may happen, and you chose to stay together and accept this as a possibility. If you can comfortably pivot this into some sort of polyamorous relationship, then cool. If exclusivity and loyalty are crucially important to you, then break it off. Part ways amicably and explain that you can't be with someone who can't promise loyalty. Save yourself the heartbreak when you're 100% invested with 5 or 10 years in. Alcohol doesn't cause people to make up blatantly false stuff. May, don't ever put alcohol to any equation. Sometimes alcohol brings out the truth, sometimes alcohol removes some barriers that will make you say your thoughts even if you yourself don't stand by those thoughts. After all we all have irrational or stupid thoughts that we choose to not say out loud. It can cause people to make up blatantly false stuff too. When I'm talking to people I make up bullshit for the sake of conversation. When I'm drunk I might make up bullshit that's really wrong too. I wouldn't come up with shit like I can't promise I won't cheat personally, but if what's going through other PPLS minds, some PPL like to say stuff like that to see your reaction, to test you. My point is just, don't try to make sense of the alcohol aspect of it because it doesn't. Ask her again when she's sober and go from there. This is basically where my mind went reading this. Get to know her feelings on the subject while you're both sober. Go into the conversation open to hearing what she thinks and feels and explore that. 
Don't attack her for those feelings, because then you may not get the truth. Express your own afterwards and after you're both done getting to know each other better in this regard you'll be better equipped to make a decision. I've had conversations with people where the context they were thinking in and what I was thinking were completely separate places. I've also made wild statements, kinda like what you describe above, with the intent of it sparking a conversation and then had it just end up crummy, as appears to be the case with this situation. I don't think she said this with the intent of giving herself a pass to cheat in the future. I think she said this to get you to explore her thoughts on marriage, monogamy, and positive relationships more. She has clearly expressed a disinterest in marriage previous to this drunken night. OP, has this been a topic that you've ignored in the past and just assumed that after X number of years she would come around? Man this sub makes me really surprised at what kind of people exist. Seriously OP? Like seriously? If your friend was in this situation and asked you for advice what would you have said? Your partner basically said to your face that she will cheat in the future and you can't blame her because she told you beforehand. And on top of that, you are asking strangers what she meant by that and how you should take it instead of talking to her about it. Jesus. Leave her. Don't waste your time on her. She has just told you what she is like. I went out with a girl I knew and she was flirting with others guys. I said what the duck is going on. She said she could flirt if she wanted to. I turned around that instant and left her there. Same happened to me, the only difference is that she was manipulating me when I was telling her she was cheating on me, and she accused me for a whole year to not be trustworthy etc yet it was her you was doing that. Run. Trust me, run. She will cheat, I went through the same thing just a year ago. Take care brother. She probably already has cheated, she puts no value on monogamy or relationships. She's not said to him my truth is I can't be monogamous, so if you want to be with me you need to be open to having an open relationship, she said she cheats, she does it secretly, behind the backs of others, but wants this drunken confession to be a get out of jail free card for when she gets caught. If she cannot commit to monogamy then she is not committed to you. She just likes having a relationship. When someone tells you who they are, believe them. She is telling you she will cheat on you in the future. Unless that's your fetish you obviously need to break up. Being drunk isn't an excuse for saying shedding things to your partner. Quite frankly, she's telling you she will most likely cheat on you in the future. As someone who has been cheated on before, it makes you feel super shitty. My advice to you, especially since you feel it was hitting a dead end, is to end things sooner, rather than later. Because at this point, every girl's night, text or message is going to raise your suspicions and be distrustful of any explanation she offers you. End things now on a relatively good note, before either of you truly hurts the other with words or actions. Alcohol involved conversation aside, do you know what her needs are? Do you know yours? It may be that monogamy, or the promise thereof, goes against what she feels she needs in a relationship. There is a difference between being faithful, loyal, and devoted, and being monogamous. If she was asking you to be, but setting other rules for herself, that would be different. If monogamy is something you need and is a deal breaker, then that's the way it is. If it's not, then it's time for some heartfelt, in-depth conversations about what her and your needs are and how they are going to be met. In my humble opinion, 